What's up and welcome to my channel. Today's episode is all about how to actually make your own YouTube channel. And right now I think is one of the best times to start a YouTube channel, especially with everything going on in the world. Everybody's at home more, you know, they're transitioning to an at home job. So it's a great way for you to maybe make some extra money at home, spread your knowledge, show people what you know, what you're passionate about. Number two is everyone's at home. That means they're watching more YouTube. YouTube being the number two search engine in the world. Google being number one. And Google and YouTube are so intertwined, you know, to me that sounds like a no brainer. So today I'm gonna to show you how to create a YouTube channel from scratch. So stay tuned because it's going to be a great episode and it's going to be the first of a series of episodes on how to get your YouTube channel started. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. All right, so we're doing this entire process from scratch. So if you already have an email or you already know some of these things, just skip ahead to the next portion. So basically on any browser, what you need to do is get to the Google homepage. So up at the very, very top of your page, you're going to type in google.ca in Canada, google.com in the States, or if you just type in Google, it should come up to your, uh, your Google. And just for the purpose of this video, we're going to actually start from square one as if you didn't even have an email account. So if you already have an email account, you're already one step ahead. And if you already have an email account and a Google account, then you're two steps ahead. And if you didn't know, YouTube and Google are essentially the same thing. So you need to have a Google account in order to have a YouTube account. So if you've already have an email and a Google account, you can skip forward. If not, Let's create one right now. So create your Google account. So what we're doing is creating an email and a Google account all at one time. So we're going to put our name in first. I'll put Andy W. Then the next thing is to create a username. And this is also your new email, whatever at gmail.com. In this case, it'll be Andy Andy's Garden 5567 and it'll let you know if that's available to use if someone else hasn't already used it and the next thing we'll have to do if you already have an email account but you don't have a Gmail you can just click use my current email address instead very easy then you don't have to make a new email then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna to wanna to make a new password for this email or for your Google account. And you're gonna make sure the both passwords match. You put your password in one time here, then you're gonna come over here and you're gonna put your password in again. And make sure they match, or if they don't match, it's not gonna let you get to the next page. Once you have all that information in, the next thing that you need to do is put your cell phone number in to verify your account. For your security, Google wants to make sure it's really you. Google will send a text message with a six digit verification code. So what they're gonna do is just text your phone, then you're gonna put your verification code in. So first thing you do is just put your cell phone number here. And what this does is really secures your account and if you ever were locked out of your account somehow, this is going to help you regain access to your account. So you put your number in here, then it's going to send you a text message. When you receive that text message, now you're going to enter that code. It's going to start with a G and it's going to be from Google. Now you're going to enter that code into this box. That's going to bring you onto the next step. And now your cell phone number is verified. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is put your date of birth, your gender, and completely fill out all the rest of the information. You can add a recovery email if you'd like, but it is optional. It does help if your account were to ever get locked or you know, if you needed other verification or you forgot your password. 
Then you're just going to hit next. You can read into more information of why Google wants this information from you and learn more if you'd like. The next thing we're going to do is read through the privacy in terms of Google just to really get uh, familiar with Google's privacy terms. Now we're going to click next. Now this is your Google account. This is how it's going to look up in the up in the top right corner here. You see the A. We click on that and this is our Google account. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the dots. This is how it's going to look. We click on the dots. Then we go down to YouTube. The other browser is going to come up there. Now we're in YouTube. Now all we do now is click sign in. And that what that's going to do is link your Google account to your new YouTube account. And as you can see up in the corner, there's an A again. So now this is your new Google account. And what's unique, what's nice about this is now you can comment on videos, you can like videos, you can make playlists, you can do a whole bunch of interesting stuff. But most importantly, now we can create our own channel. So you click on the A, click on the icon, go down to create channel. And it's gonna want you to upload some pictures and start to get your channel together soon. But this is easy, so just follow the prompt. And the first thing we're gonna do is pick a picture. So this profile picture, I just had it on my computer, so I just decided to use this now just to show you what it's like. The kind of computer formats it for you to the right size and you just kind of crop it in. Super easy to do. Not every picture is gonna be perfect. So you might have to choose a different picture, do a little bit of experimenting to find a picture that's gonna work for you. Try different size pictures and try different pictures, see how it works. So as you can see, we have no videos, no playlists, no channels, no discussion, no about, nothing yet. So we click on home and then we're gonna click on customize channel. Once we do that, now we're in YouTube studio. So the new YouTube studio, if you don't know any different, the new YouTube studio is great and it's extremely easy to use. And you'll, if you don't know the old one, the new one, you'll have nothing to, there'll be no learning curve. You'll be learning the new one. Super easy. What we're going to do is click on branding. I just want to show you the channel customization and the, the profile picture and the banner image. So my profile picture I've selected. Okay. And that's, that's important because you, as you can see in the top right corner, that is the new picture. It's not the a anymore. Now it's your new profile picture and that goes across all your Google accounts. So, the next one is your banner image. And this is kind of a tricky one to pick out because it has to be the right size for all different formats. You can see here a TV, a laptop and a phone. So this banner image has to look good on all three devices just so that whoever's watching it can see that clearly on all three devices. Then there's the video watermark. And keep an eye on the size, 150 by 150. These are important. The size, it wants a certain format when you're uploading these pictures. But no problem at all. I'm going to show you how to do an amazing, you know, an amazing technique to easily get these sizes and make all this happen without a headache. So your video watermark is essentially just a little tag in the corner that you can actually click on to subscribe. So it's important to have that too. Next, you're going to click on basic info and you got your channel name and description here. So you can actually edit your channel name. So let's say if I wanted to put um, Andy's garden, Andy's gardening channel. Perfect. Now we're going to do our description. So welcome to my channel. And this should be a fairly short description and just get to the point and kind of summarize your channel. If you don't know fully what your channel is going to be about yet, 
that's okay because you don't even really have any videos up yet. But here I will teach you how to garden, dot, dot, dot. And it's going to get into a little bit more details, but if you're not really sure yet, don't worry. Just kind of... Uh, you're going to click uh, publish in the top right corner and that'll just save all of your work. And the next thing we're going to do, obviously we have no content, in the top right corner we're going to click on your profile picture, then we're going to click on your channel. This is the view of your channel. And I found a few pictures that I just want to add just to show you how the channel looks when you're adding pictures. So I found a new profile picture just for an example. So my gardening channel. This is just a picture I found online that I was able to use. So I select that. It's a beautiful picture. Then I just wanted to show you for a banner image how tricky this can be. So I picked a nice big picture here. But as you can see, um, it's not gonna show up clearly on everything. In the middle, that's that would be your phone. This is TV, viewable on TV, viewable on desktop, and the last one is viewable on all devices. And that's important because think about this, I'd say roughly 70% of people are watching YouTube on their phone. So you want to really cater to people that are watching YouTube on their phone. So, you might have to experiment a little bit with this for sure, just to make, just to find the right background image and just to experiment with, with exactly how it looks. So that's gonna take a little while, a little bit of a learning curve there, but just don't get frustrated and continue to just experiment, click publish in the right corner. Let's see what it looks like. And if you're not happy with that, you can change it as many times as you want. We'll go to the right corner, click on your channel, boom. So there's our nice banner in the back. You know, if it's not exactly right, you can edit it, change it as many times as you want, no problem. We have our profile picture, and the next thing that would be to do would be to upload a video. Now I've got out of the example account and I'm going back into my account, the Review King, just to show you how I have it set up. So you're gonna see channel trailer, featured video, it gives you a few options to set up your main page. And branding, I have my profile picture, which I've made, the Review King, and it looks good across all devices and it looks good small. So keep that in mind too. My banner image, I've made that. I got my channel name, description. Put a quick, easy description, summarize, and this can change at any time if your description changes or you think of different stuff. There's channel URL, and I'm actually just about ready to have a custom URL. I could have done it earlier, but it's a good time now. At the end of your youtube.com URL, there's a whole bunch of random numbers and letters. So what we wanna do is clean that up. You'll see here, youtube.com forward slash C forward slash the review king. So we wanna have a nice clean custom URL. If you'd like more help on how to actually create a video from scratch, work on the thumbnail, and how to do all that stuff, check down in the description. I'm gonna start a whole new playlist on how to actually get your YouTube started. So make sure to look in the description. There's much more to come. Take a look at the analytics here. We have 16,000 views in the last 28 days. So it's steadily, slowly climbing. And we're almost at monetization. 325 out of a thousand and this is a harder one to get for some people 2200 watch hours so we're over halfway to monetization so we're doing pretty good on the dashboard here you can just see it just shows you an overview of your analytics of your videos and on your content it just shows you a nice clear way 
to look at your videos. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe and check down below in the description. I'm gonna put all the videos of the series in. And this is gonna be the first video of many videos in the series to help you really grow your YouTube channel and start your YouTube journey. And I'm here to answer any questions. Let me know if you need any help. Let me know in the comments. Hit that like button. Let me know, I'm here to help. I'm the Review King and I want to help. I want your channel to be successful and let's grow together. YouTube's all about community, so let's support each other and I'm looking forward to seeing your channels. So stay tuned until next time. This is the Review King signing out.